okay guys so let us talk about the medial medullary syndrome so medial medullary syndrome is due to damage in the medulla mainly due to the infarction of the medulla and on its medial side which involves these following structures the hypoglossal nerve the medial lemniscus and the pyramids so all these structures lying in the medial part of the medulla are affected in the medial medullary syndrome so before that we must know that <coughs> it is due to infarction or reduced blood supply which supply the medulla so medulla is supplied by branches from vertebral artery basilar artery and anterior spinal artery but we should keep in mind that most of the blood supply is from the vertebral artery okay so damage to the vertebral artery leads to medial medullary syndrome so in medial medullary syndrome hypoglossal nerve medial lemniscus and pyramid is involved so we get the symptoms accordingly that is due to damage to the hypoglossal nerve we get ipsilateral paralysis of the tongue due to medial lemniscus system we get contralateral loss of position that is proprioception and vibration the medial lemniscus system and <clears throat> the pyramids pyramids mostly consist of cortico spinal tract therefore the motor the nervous system will be affected due to the loss of cortico spinal tract so we will get contralateral hemi paralysis of r and leg see we know that cortico spinal pathway gives motor supply to arm and leg therefore we get hemi paralysis and due to decussation of the fibers at the pyramid we get contralateral hemi paralysis we should keep in mind that in the damage to the hypoglossal nerve it is ipsilateral paralysis of the tongue that is the tongue will deviate towards the affected side and in middle lemniscus system and the pyramid to decussation we have contralateral effects thank you